<clears throat> All right, Shalom. Shalom. We the Brothers Great Millstone, Church in Birmingham, Alabama. Before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Yeah, we want to do a quick lesson through the Spirit and power Yahweh by Shai. And, uh, you know, we were just meditating through the Spirit, you know, how, you know, we don't want to offend brothers, you know? And we want to make sure that we are right with brothers, all right? Because we want to be sure we want to be right with Yahweh by Shai, Shai man. Uh, the scripture tell us, and we're going to get it, that uh, if you don't forgive your brother his trespass, how do how you expect the Lord to forgive you yours? All right? That's as very critical in this walk, man. Being right with your brothers and being right with your high by shower shower, which is one and the same, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and the brothers that we're speaking about are not just any old Israelite, man. You got to come up under the same banner and the same doctrine of your high by shower shower. All right? Let's get that. We start at uh, verse 9. Okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, pray, so like it, after this manner, therefore pray ye, mm -hmm. our Father, which art in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name. Go ahead. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done mm -hmm. in earth as it is in heaven. Go ahead. Give us this day our daily bread mm -hmm. and forgive us our debts. Hmm. As we forgive our debtors. So as we praying, man, we asking the Lord to give us our daily bread, all right, that his will be done, all right, which puts us in the same mindset as the Lord, all right, on the same wavelength. But it also says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. See, this is the Lord's prayer, all right? Very important. Go ahead, all right? And lead us not into temptation, mm -hmm. but deliver us from evil. Hey, that our temptation is, is approaching quickly, man. Yeah. All right? And we're asking the Lord not to lead us into temptation, to keep us from the evil. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead. For thine is the kingdom mm -hmm. and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Continue. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, mm -hmm. Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So Yahweh made a point of saying after that prayer, if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Go ahead. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, hmm. neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. See, that's how critical it is, man. That's how critical it is forgiving your brother, man, for those trespasses. Uh, the Lord said, if you don't forgive your brother for his trespasses, he, how, how you expect the Lord to forgive you? That's it. You know? How you expect the Lord to give you mercy if you don't want to show mercy? Mm -hmm. Right? Or the scriptures say, uh, he that don't have mercy, let's get that. Uh, and uh, Will judge, be judged without mercy? Let me mm -hmm. see. I think it's in the book of James. Uh Yep, this is the book of James, chapter 2, and verse 13. It says, For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy, see? And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. And we know that ultimately it's going into Esau, but guess what? Uh, our people act in the way of Esau, man. Not showing mercy, all right? Not forgiving their brother. And again, your brother is one who's, who's teaching that same like-minded doctrine, man. All right. That's who your your true brother is. You can't say anybody from GOCC is your brother. Mm -hmm. All right. Because they believe the Edomites and these other nations can be saved, man. You can't say that ISUBK is your brother. Why? Because they believe that the MOTV is sin or white women or embargo. So it's very specific who your brother is. Mm -hmm. All right. And the Lord wants you to forgive your brother. All right. You got some? No, you got it. Um, Let's go to, let me see. So like it. The book of, I want to say the book of Mark, chapter 11 and verse 25. All right, this is a, the same account, all right, but it's written a different way. 11 and 25. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 25. And when ye stand praying, mm -hmm. forgive, mm -hmm. 
if ye have aught against any, mm -hmm. that your Father also, <laughs> which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. See, man, Yahweh Shai made it very specific. All right? And is 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 not up for debate, man. Okay? Read that again from the top. Huh. This is Mark chapter 11 and verse 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That was it on that. Uh, read uh, verse 26 too. Oh, start 25. Okay. So like it. This is Mark chapter 11, verse 25. And when ye stand praying, yep. forgive. If ye have aught against any, mm -hmm. that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Go ahead. But if ye do not forgive, mm -hmm. neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Yeah, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. That reminds me of a... Uh, of a parable that Yahweh Shah taught, uh, where the guy was forgive for uh, a certain amount of debt, mm -hmm. and then once he was forgiven by the master, let's see if we can get that. Uh, real quick, that's powerful, man. Uh, yeah, Matthew. Woo. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 21. It says the parable of the unforgiving servant. Yeah, Matthew 18 and, and started like verse 21. You said what up? Matthew. Chapter 18. And uh verse 21. Very, very important, man. Forgiveness is very important. Hmm. Hmm. Con, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? Mm -hmm. And I forgive him mm. till seven times. So Peter, the rock of the church, was, was inquiring of you how often how, how should he forgive his brother, man? All right. And he says, seven times. Go ahead. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Until seventy times seven, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And we know that, that that number seven goes into completion, man. So if your brother asks you to forgive you, all right, you're supposed to forgive him. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven like unto a certain king mm -hmm. which would take account of his servants? Hey, listen, he said the kingdom of heaven <laughs> is likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. Go ahead. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him 10,000 talents. Mm -hmm. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold mm -hmm. And his wife and children and all he had and payment to be made. Mm -hmm. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. Mm -hmm. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him and a hundred pence, mm -hmm. and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. Yep. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, mm -hmm. and I will pay thee all. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, he was just forgiven. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a huge debt of 10,000 talents. Uh, right? Go ahead. And he would not, hmm. but went and cast him into prison. See that? Till he should pay the debt. Mm -hmm. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry mm -hmm. and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Hmm. 
then this Lord. Hey man, that's 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 yeah. that's the service saying, Lord, he ain't forgive me, Lord. Yeah. You know, he 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 ain't forgive his brother, Lord. Yeah. You you think the Lord gonna be pleased with that? Mm -hmm. You got it up. After that, he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, mm. because thou desiredest me. Mm. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant? Ooh, come on now, your mm -hmm. fellow servant, your servant in arms. Shouldn't you have compassion on him too? Hell, the Lord having compassion on us, bringing us into this truth. Okay. He could have left us to the fucking wolves, man. You got it up. Even as I had pity on thee, mm -hmm. and his Lord was wroth, hmm. and delivered him to the tormentors. Woo, go ahead. Till he should pay all that was due unto him. Right, go ahead. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. See, point blank period. If you don't want to forgive your brother's trespass, the Lord is not going to forgive you yours, man. John. All right? We pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double, Double honor to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Till the next time, Shalom. Shalom. DTA, a Bible ball. Soon. Soon.